Hi, I'm here at the Platinum Tools booth with John Phillips, uh, product manager. He's going to give us a demo on doing the EZ45 RJ45 connector. Easy RJ45. Why easy? Because it is easy, as you shall see here. Uh, what we're going to do is basically all you need is three things. You need your easy crimp tool, which has a patented idea of the tool, is a blade on the tool, does a simultaneous crimp and cut which you'll see in a minute why that's important. And then of course, a good pair of scissors, trimmers, and a cable jacket stripper. Before I prep my cable, the first thing is I'm gonna use our new, fairly new uh, snap proof strain relief. We have now for the CAT 5E, and we also have them for the CAT 6. I'm gonna slide it on, back off the cable, and now we're gonna prep the cable. The first thing you have to do is remove and expose the conductors that you're gonna work with. So we go back about, oh, an inch and a half, and what I want to do is just go around enough to score the cable. See, it's still intact. This way, when I bend it where we scored it, it pops. You don't even have to inspect the conductors. You just go ahead and trim this little membrane for strength. And then I set, bring my, I like to bring my cables out and, and then take the cable jacket that you took off. And this is your pair separator. And as I come off, I sort of squeeze it, comb out the kinks because you want to be able to lay the conductors side by side with no gaps. And you come off, and then we're last one. And of course, you'll note each pair is twisted at a different rate. Some untwist easier than others, but that's so there is no crosstalk. So if I'm gonna do the B, it's always orange, white, orange, and then it's green, white. We'll move that out of the way. Then it's blue, blue, white, green back up, brown, brown, white, in. Now we bring these together. Yeah, normally, you would have to cut your wires about, well, half inch from the end of the jacket and make sure they stay in the right order as you slide it in a, a normal RJ45. With the EZ, you have all this length to work with, or if you want it to be longer, you can. So I've already trimmed these. I'll trim them again, make sure they're nice and clean. We take the connector and we slide them in. And before I push it back any further, I can check to make sure that they're right. If they're not right, I can pull it off, rearrange them, and slide it on again. Once I know they're straight, I can come in. I can get that twist. The closer the twist to the point of termination, the higher the performance. So I know that with this, it's going to be a real high performance because I'm actually three eighths and the call out on the spec is less than half inch. Okay, now we got this prepped. We'll bring slide up the strain relief and some people like it like this, but I prefer to put it under the locking latch. So when we're done, there's always tension on the locking latch. So when you snap it into the jack, it always maintains tension. We take our tool, we're gonna to put it in. This is the easy Pro HD, our new heavy duty tool and I hold tight in there, and I'm going to crimp it now. So she's set, we're going to crimp it, come down. And there we've done our crimp. Release the patented blade, and there's your finished crimp.